day viewers thank you for joining us in this class if you are just joining us you are to also subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on for more of our video here in this class we want to look at the solution to this finding the value of x and we have x times x times x on this side and we can also write that one as x cubed that is x raised to power 3 then equals to on this side we have x plus x plus x that is simply 3x and when we look at this we can bring this 3x to this side and uh, that will give us x cube minus 3x now because it's plus on this side, when it comes to this side, become minus, then equals to zero. Then we can see that we can factor x out here. We have x is common. So when we factor x out, we have x into bracket x square now. We mean x square because when x doing this, it will mean x square. Then minus 3x. Then that is equals to zero so that means that we multiply two numbers and the result gives us zero so either of the number has to be zero then we say x equals to zero or x square minus three equals to zero then we have here already x equals to zero or we want to find x on this side that means x square equals to 3 when we take minus 3 to that side and from there now we still have x equals to 0 here or when we take the square root of both sides square root we cancel square on this side then x will now be equals to plus or minus square root of 3 so that's what we have there plus or minus square root of 3 and uh, it means that we have minus 3 minus root 3 then plus root 3 so on this side we can have it as minus root 3 or plus root 3 and finally when we write the value the answer now x will then give us we have negative root 3 minus root 3 then 0 then plus root 3 so that is the solution to that problem given we say thank you for listening and also don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also click on the like button and if you have any comment you can also put it in the comment section we say thank you and uh, see you later